We're told that the side of an equilateral triangle is 10 centimeters. The midpoints of its sides are joined to form an inscribed equilateral triangle, as shown by the white triangle in the diagram. And this process is continued. We're asked to find the sum of the perimeters of the triangles if this process is continued without end. The perimeter of the largest triangle, or the first one, we'll call P1, and it's 10 plus 10 plus 10, or 30. You can see by looking at the diagram that each side of the second triangle, the white one, will be half of 10, or 5 centimeters. So the perimeter of this second triangle we'll call P2, which will be 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 15. And each side of the third triangle, the red one, will be half of 5, or 2.5. So the perimeter of this third triangle, which we'll call P3, will be 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5, or 7.5. If this process continues without end, the sum of the perimeters of the triangles can be found by calculating the sum of the infinite series, 30 plus 15 plus 7.5, and so on. The first term, A1, is equal to 30. And the common ratio, R, equals 15 over 30, or 1 half. Because R is between 0 and positive 1, this is a convergent series. So we'll start with the equation for the sum of a convergent infinite series and substitute 30 for a1 and 1 half for r. 1 minus 1 half equals 1 half. 30 divided by 1 half is the same as 30 times 2 over 1, which is 60. So we can state that the sum of the perimeters of all the triangles is 60 centimeters.